Hi, I'm Autumn from itsalwaysautumn.com. Today I am going to show you how to create a photo collage using Adobe Photoshop Elements 15. This video is created in partnership with Adobe. I'm going to start in quick mode of Photoshop Elements 15. And if I click the photo bin, you can see down here that I have opened up eight different photos that I want to put into my collage. You could also start in the organizer and there you would just select eight or more photos you'd like to use. In either place, you'll go to the Create tab on the right and scroll down to Photo Collage. Here you can choose the size of the collage you would like to make and hit OK. The software will automatically begin generating your collage for you. OK, so here we have a collage. All of our photos have been automatically placed into each of these photo placeholders. Um, I'm going to call these photo cards because they look like a card here with a white border. So I'm going to call it photo card to distinguish it from the photo that's actually inside it. So all of my photos are in here already, but they're not necessarily in the places where I want them to be. So I'm going to change things around a bit. I am just going to grab photos down from the bottom of the photo bin and drop them into the spots where I want them. And as I do that, it'll automatically replace the photo that's there with the one I'm dragging in. Okay, so now I have the photos placed how I would like them, but I still need to do a little bit of editing so that the subject of each photo is visible. So if I click on each of these photo cards, I can move it around if I'd like, or I can grab the little box in the corner and drag it smaller or larger, or I can hover near the corner to change the way it's angled on the collage. And I can do that to make things look a little better with my pictures so that the subject is more visible. To edit the photo itself inside each card, I can double click on the card. And then if I move things around, I'm only moving the photo. I'm not moving the entire photo card that it's sitting on in the collage. But again, I can change the size, I can change the angle, and I can change the position. And I can just continue doing this until my collage looks the way I want it to. Another thing that I can change is the look of the background. You'll see right now that we see a green background anywhere the photo cards don't completely overlap. Down on the left, or sorry, down on the right hand side, I can click graphics and that'll open up a bunch of different background styles. I'll double click to choose this light gray one because it blends in better with my photos. Okay, I think this looks really great. I could save it as is and print it out right now. However, I do want to add a title. So I'm going to go to the left and click on advanced mode, which gives us some more options. There are some more tools down here along the left hand side. We can add shapes and we can also add text and do some other fine tune adjustments if needed. The first thing I'm going to do is in the bottom right, click layers scroll to the very top of my layers palette here and click this button to create a new layer. That'll ensure that any text or any shapes or anything that I add here are on their own separate layer so that I can edit them separately. Then I'm going to create a box for my text to sit on. So I'll choose my custom shape tool and down at the bottom I'll choose a rectangle shape. I'm going to pick more of a gray color than a black. And then I can just draw a rectangle right on top of my photos. If I hit V to get the move tool back, I can move this around and position it wherever I would like it. Then I can choose my type tool. I'm going to go back and click that create a new layer button one more time to create a separate layer for my text. Then I can choose a font and choose a color for my text. And then just click and begin typing. 
once I click the green check mark, then I can use the boxes on the corners to resize my text. And then I can just click and drag it to put it exactly where I'd like it to be. Okay, there we have a finished collage. Now we can save it and print it out to display in a frame. Or if you'd like to try something different, you can do what I did with my photo collage and transfer it onto a piece of wood. If you'd like to do a wood transfer, there are two more quick steps. The first thing I wanna do is I'd like to bump up the saturation of all of my colors because colors don't look quite as bright once you've transferred them onto wood. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go under layer, flatten image, and then I'll hit Command U to bring up my hue saturation box. And I am just going to move this saturation slider toward the right a bit. Just to give the colors an extra punch. And then the last thing that I need to do is go under Image, Rotate, Flip Horizontal. And that'll make a mirror image. That way when I print it out onto the tattoo paper and then flip it again, it'll look right on my wood transfer. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit me at It's Always Autumn for lots more Photoshop Elements tutorials.